expedition was a big undertaking for OSEARCH. It incorporated three different countries and spanned from late July um, now into September. We started uh, in Spain off of Vigo. It's been a really interesting, challenging, and a lot of learning over the last six weeks over here in Europe. We had a wonderful science team coming together with Valencia Oceanographic and saw some beautiful whale activity on the way out. And we ended up handling a few blue sharks with the science team there, tagging one with a spot tag. And in general, started to kind of see a situation like, wow, we're over here in the eastern North Atlantic and it's really different than the western North Atlantic. And that story kind of continued when we moved up north and into Brittany, France. Really stunned at the lack of life we saw there. We saw one blue shark and it had a plastic ring around it. 155, pre-coder. Hold on the back and then you can really serve. Do we have all the samples? Again, great science team there. Started to endure a couple of mechanical challenges. Yeah, we've got electrical issues. If we want to save the Irish part of the expedition, we might have to sacrifice the rest of the French expedition. And then finally here we are in sort of southwestern Ireland, uh, working off the coast of Dingle. Absolutely stunning here, greeted by the most amazing people, world-class science team, working with Dr. Nicholas Payne, and really enjoyed our time and the beautiful scenery. Meanwhile, you know, the team has been grinding. They've been working as hard as they could ever work from dawn to dark, trying to scrape something out of the trip. 10 fathom. It's been a wonderful opportunity to put together three new teams of scientists in three different countries. What was great is there were also collaborative efforts that started across all of these regions. And since they all share the same Eastern North Atlantic Ocean, we're hoping that those partnerships continue in the future. It was great to hear while we were here in Ireland that there was a fisherman on board who'd actually had interactions with white sharks, two of them in the last few years. I was trawling for tuna one day when it, I hooked a tuna and within two or three seconds of hooking that tuna, a shark breached behind it, threw its tail in the air and went down after this tuna. The line snapped within five or six seconds and, and it was gone like, but it was like nothing that I've seen so in the course of this entire expedition, at least with our eyes and with our bait, we did not see or catch a white shark. We still will be waiting in the next months to come to find out what the results are of the eDNA work that we did to see if there may have been white sharks present that we didn't see. Uh, what we always say in science is zero is still data, so not seeing any white sharks is still actual valuable data. I think there's a lot more research could be done around this area. Um, maybe the results weren't great, you know, but I wouldn't give up on it. I'd be very surprised if there aren't great whites visiting these waters. My hope really is, is that there's a scientific team in the future uh, that will be able to encounter one of these animals, tag it and really understand better um, where they come from um, and what their life history is. So now what we're doing up here in Ireland as we wind down the expedition, we have some big weather that's getting ready to come in and crash down on this place for an extended period of time. So we are going to allow the guys to get underway a little bit early. We don't really have much of a choice. If we don't get the ship out of here in the next, say, day, it could be stuck here for weeks or a month. And uh, that'll allow us to get back to Jacksonville University, focus on building out the new world headquarters, and integrating with the university so we're cranking out the best new marine biologist in the world with both practical and academic experience and really creating that long-term future impact for OSEARCH right along with the city of Jacksonville, the state of Florida, and Jacksonville University. Life on a ship, it's like no place on earth The sea is a terrible friend One day she'll show you the time of your life The next day you're facing the end 
It's a tenuous ride where the sea meets the sky, 360 degrees. But with billowing sails running free with the whales, no place I'd rather be. Sailing away on the wind and the waves, behold them to the ocean. I'm Hey! 